Being overweight or obese increases your risk for some serious health issues. And of course, while everyone's weight loss journey is different, it can be especially complex for women. 10 News anchor Rachel Lucas talked to local experts about what you can do to get started. When it comes to losing weight, often as women, we are focused on a number. But a fitness expert we talked to says, don't sell yourself short or get discouraged by what the scale reads. Russ Gibson at Carillion Wellness says the goal is to lose fat and gain muscle. If you're working out, that could be happening without a weight change showing up on the scale. This is why he recommends to get a body composition test done instead of just focusing on your number. With that, you can get what your body's actually made up of, whereas, especially starting a workout program, you might be looking at that scale every day, get discouraged. So if you can see that body composition changing over time, um, as opposed to just looking at that scale, you could be kind of encouraging you to keep going. Women will initially lose weight slower than men because of our muscle mass. For those of us just starting out, he recommends Take it slow. Start by incorporating 20 minute walks into your daily life and work your way up. If you need more help, he says to ask your doctor for a prescription for a personal trainer, which could be covered by some health insurance plans. Mother's Day kicked off National Women's Health Week, and we are working for you all this week to help you get started on living a healthier life. We've posted links online for more tips. In studio, I'm Rachel Lucas, 10 News, working for you.